Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm dealing with an issue on my boxwoods and it's called boxwood psyllids. Now this is a new pest to me, so I've been doing quite a lot of research and one of the sites that I have been looking at is the Missouri Botanical Gardens and I am following their method to treat this. So what you see on the boxes right now, those little white worms, those are like the, the larvae of the boxwood psyllid. And thankfully they only produce one generation of like offspring. And what I'm reading is that it's not a heavily damaging pest. One of the ways that you notice that you have this pest, pest is by the white worms, but also by the cupping of the leaves. So if you see that on your boxwoods, just give it a once over and check for the white worms. You'll also see a lot of little flying insects around and that is the psyllid. So the way that I'm going to treat this is to just prune my boxwoods and throw away as much of the um, pruning as possible. Now it's difficult to get every last speck of foliage, but I'm going to do my best. These boxwoods have not been pruned in over a year. I did not prune them last year. I wanted to kind of see them get you know big and fluffy and i do like the fluffy look of boxwoods but you know with this pest going on i think it's important to try to you know cut the lifespan down of this if, if at all possible by taking these larvae and getting them out of there so there you can see the adults flying around and in each boxwood they were everywhere. So now I'm just going to get out my tools and get to work and then I'll jump back in and give you guys a tour of what I did. Now mind you I am not a professional boxwood pruner so you know I just kind of did some tidying and there are a couple lopsided ones but they'll grow back. It's okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll check back in with you soon. remember this but this boxwood and the other boxwood that I am going to prune were actually boxwoods that I won from Instant Hedge two years ago and they have just done so wonderfully. They're beautiful, they were fluffy, <laughs> but they just look so cute and I love them so much and I actually have them in the front as well. And another thing about the boxwood psyllid is that it can affect all boxwoods. So there are some varieties that are more prone to it, but all varieties um, can get this pest. So just a heads up there. Um, and also, uh, you don't have to do any sort of heavy chemical controls. Um, that's something that I try to avoid in my garden. I don't want to use any pesticides or any sort of chemicals that could leach down into my soil, especially since I am also growing a vegetable garden, vegetable garden, sorry, and I don't want any issues with any of the plants that I'm going to be eating. So when they said that you don't really have to treat it with anything, um, I'm all for that. So that's what I'm going to do, just pruning getting rid of the mess and then moving on with life.
So here's what they look like. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, you, I can't pick up every single piece, but I definitely, you know, will come back through later and get more up that I can. But this is what it looks like now. The boxwoods in the back are all pruned and they look great. Now, the front yard has boxwoods and they also have the same issue. So I'm going to have to go out and prune those and I'll... Let's go ahead and walk to the front and I'll show you what they look like. So here are the boxwood hedges in the front. They have the same issue as you can see. So um, I'll come out and prune these on another day. They, they haven't been pruned for over a year. I didn't prune any boxwoods last year. So they're in need of a prune. I'll try to get up as much as I can. And then we'll just go from there. At least this isn't something that will kill the plant. Um, the only major damage is just the cupped leaves. Which is not too horrible to look at. I mean, it does not bother me. So definitely, so I'll definitely get these pruned within the next week. And we'll get this issue taken care of, at least for now. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will link all of the sources of where I found the information on this pest. That way you can look for yourselves. But let me know if you have any questions about my boxwoods or about this video or anything and I am happy to get back to you. I hope you have a great day. Bye!